Welcome to night prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. Our psalm tonight is Psalm 46, and I'm going to use the first three verses, and then verses 10 and 11 from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, he says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Tell the nations to praise God. Amen. So we continue through our Philippians chapter 2 reading. So we start at verse 12 and then we'll just think about the words in verse 16 tonight. My dear friends, you always obeyed me when I was with you. Now that I am away, you should obey even more. So work with fear and trembling to discover what it really means to be saved. God is working in you to make you willing and able to obey him. Do everything without grumbling or arguing. Then you will be the pure and innocent children of God. You live among people who are crooked and evil, but you must not do anything that they say is wrong. Try to shine as lights among the people of this world. As you hold firmly to the message that gives them life, then on the day when Christ returns, I can take pride in you. I can also know that my works and efforts were not useless. There's something rather wonderful, isn't there, in that thought of Jesus being proud of us. Just because we've done our very best. We've tried to shine as lights in the darkness. Not in big, not in necessarily complicated ways. Very often the light shines through in the most simple way. But as we shine for Christ, just imagine as he looks down on us and is proud of what we are doing, doing our bit in our time to serve him, to spread his message. And so we pray, visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And we share in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us his peace.